bugs and stuff. Hey, it's Sid, and it's time for another episode of Story Time with Uncle Sid. So I'm going to talk about business. We started our first window cleaning business in 1993 in Clearwater, Florida, and it was a struggle. It was a stupid struggle. Okay, here's why. Because I one, I'd never run a business before. Two, I knew nothing about window cleaning. I'd never cleaned a window. But the reason I started window cleaning is because I was hustling, looking for work. Um, I tried a couple jobs that didn't work out. There were sales jobs for companies that I ended up not appreciating on a, an integrity level. And so I quit. And I didn't have a plan B. But I, uh, I had a next door neighbor named Jude who cleaned windows. And he had an old pickup truck and he'd wear, you know, t-shirts with cut off sleeves and old pair of shorts. And he'd go out and clean windows. And this guy made, to me, what was a bucket load of money, you know, he was doing well. Um, I asked him one day, I said, hey Jude, look, I, I really need some work. Would you mind if I went and rode with you for a day and just watched how you clean windows? Maybe I'll clean windows too. He's like, sure, come on. Excuse me. That was... So the next day we went out and went on a, one of his routes with him. And he cleaned windows for four or five hours. He pocketed $180 cash which to me blew my mind because at the time I was, I am not joking, um, I was accustomed to working for minimum wage, which was right around five bucks an hour, okay? 1993, you can look it up. I don't remember how much, how much it was, but I was getting paid five an hour for carpentry assistant work. Um, so anyway, at the end of the day, Jude was gracious enough to give me an old Ettore squeegee and a pickle bucket. And I was like, hot damn, I'm in business. I was thrilled. I was also scared. So I didn't know what to do. And I said, Jude, how do I price window cleaning? He said, I don't know, buck a window. I'm like, sweet, buck a window, I can do that. Um, so I remember, you know, it, the next morning I went out, I was like in hustle mode. I uh, started knocking on doors, going door to door businesses, storefront, trying to drum up some storefront work. And I remember the first time somebody said yes. Uh, the manager's name was Mark, and it was a farm store in, hmm, I think it's Largo, Florida. Anyway, little corner market, and they had maybe 15 panes of glass. And I went in there and introduced myself, and I said, you know, I'm Sid, I clean windows. I'd love to give you an estimate to clean these windows. They kind of need it. Um, what do you say? And the guy's like, sure, go ahead. His name was Mark. I said, thank you, Mark. I went out, and I pretended I knew what I was doing. And I came back in and said, uh, I said, okay, Mark. I said, it'll be to do all the outside windows and the inside of your front door, it's going to be four bucks. And he's like, sweet, do it. And I said, awesome. Uh, I expect to get paid at the end of the, you know, I only accept cash. He's like, yeah, that's fine. And so I went out and started cleaning windows. Now, mind you, this is the first time I'd ever cleaned windows. I had no instruction. I had no any, whatever. It was not a complete disaster, but it did take me two hours to earn that four bucks. So two bucks an hour, which was not great. It was actually less than I was making before as a carpenter's assistant the last time I had a job job. Um, but the funny thing was I came back in and I said, okay, it's four bucks. And he said, hey, they look great. And I collected my money and I said, look, you um, should probably have these done every month or so. How often would you like me to come back? And he said, you can come back every week. This is great. I'm like, yes, yes. I got a regular account. I got my first job, four bucks a week. And I remember telling my wife that night, I'm like, honey, I said, oh, this is awesome. We got our first job. I said, oh, we only need a hundred more of these and we'll be killing it. And I don't know how I was going to do the math on how to make that work. Um, eventually I did get faster. Thank goodness. I got that job down to 15 minutes, which literally made a man. I was making maybe 16 bucks an hour. And I thought that was amazing. Uh, from my background, that was a lot of money or, you know, a large wage the most I'd ever made. And I was thrilled. But we slowly, steadily built the business, and it was built on the back of a lot of farm stores and a lot of hustle. And I didn't know anything about business. And for years, I didn't try to learn about business. I just tried to hustle my way out of it. Um, it wasn't until years later, I actually learned how to do silly things like market, sell, and price correctly. But those are stories for another day. This is... So I call that do not despise humble beginnings because we all start somewhere. I started at the very bottom, knocking on doors and working for two bucks an hour cleaning windows. It was a very humble beginning, but it was a beginning. And I used that to plant the seeds of growth for future. And we're doing pretty well now. We'll get into that later. So do not despise humble beginnings. You start where you are, 
I'm Sid, and this has been Story Time with Uncle Sid. I'll see you next time.